the story of the manager was that I was in a uh, writing group and there were some professional writers. There's actually an Academy Award nominated writer we met at her house. So that was really exciting. And I had written the script and they were giving me feedback. And long story short, it got to the point where they're like, this script's amazing. This script will sell. The only question is how much it will sell for. Do you want help getting an agent? And of course, that was like magic to my ears. And then I mentioned this to my uh, a professor at UCLA who, you know, a lot of really big writers had come through that school and through his class. And so he volunteered to read the script and he goes, this is one of the three best scripts I've ever read in 20 years at UCLA. And again, I'm thinking of all these amazing writers that, so I'm like, well, I guess I'm as good as those. And um, he goes, this will definitely sell. You want help in getting a manager, an agent. And I was interning for a manager at the time, just as an intern. So as a favor, as a favor to that manager, I'm like, do you want to read this? Because I'm like, it's going to sell. <laughs> do, you want, do you want your 10% or not, buddy? And so he agreed to read it. Took like three weeks, which drove me crazy. And then we had a meeting, I'll never forget. I go in there and he's like, this is a pretty good rough draft. Don't show it to him in the industry. Because when you show stuff to people in the industry, they get coverage reports on it. And those are database. That's your first impression. But if it's not great coverage, you haven't just blown your chances at that production company. They're going to share that coverage with everybody. It's a database. So you've, bl you've blown your first impression across the board. And he said, this will not serve you well, but you have some real strengths. You have some real weaknesses. You have, you know, some blind spots. I could help you with that if you're, and he's giving me this whole talk. And the whole time I'm like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> and I'm like, did I tell you what the Academy Award nominated person said? Did I say it with my professor who represented Stevens or, you know, taught Stevens? It wasn't, but anyway, you know. And he said, look, they were all telling you the truth. This is a better script than most scripts. It's an impressive script, but it's not nearly as good as what you need in the industry. He goes, look, your the people in the writing group are working writers. Your professor at UCLA, all smart people but they're not in the business of breaking writers into the business. I am. I know how good something has to be. This isn't close. Oh. And I'm like, didn't want to believe that. My fixed mindset's like, he's an idiot. And so what he said, and I'll, this was the best thing anybody could have said, is hire three studio readers, pay them under the table. If this script came through the tracking system, what coverage would you write? And then give me the coverage the honest coverage. And if the coverage isn't good, it's not gonna hurt you because it's, it, it's just you only see it, nobody else sees it. And I didn't have a lot of money, but I did this. I paid him like 100, 150 bucks, three different people, someone at Imagine, someone at Warner Brothers, and someone at Scott Rudin's company. And the coverage came back, and it, it wasn't terrible, and it wasn't bad, it was okay. Which is terrible, it, it, it would've hurt me. It was clear that this coverage was like, this is okay. Nothing special, nothing great here. Uh, and then on the writer, it says, um, you know, recommend, consider. I forget, it, it was low marks on the writing on two of the three. And that, you can't hide from that. Yeah. And then the manager said, I'll work with you if you're willing to put your ego at the door and do this training. So I did, and it was like 14 months. Oh, wow. And it was grueling. He, he was... He was not a good person, but, but his training was good. It was, he, it was Marine. It was much rougher than it had to be, but okay. And at the end of that time, he said, I now think the script is where it needs to be. I'll pay for coverage reports. And he paid for three coverage reports with three different people, uh, real actual readers. And it was all just exactly what you want, exceptional coverage. And literally three weeks later, Ridley Scott hires me to write Metropolis. I, I flies me to London. I mean, like, my whole world changed, my whole life changed. And it never would have happened if that manager hadn't sort of forced me to pay for coverage. And so, because at some point the fixed mindset can't hide. And that's what I always tell people. If you're thinking, like the biggest mistake you can make is go out to the marketplace before you're ready. And just because your friends think it's great and just because your teacher thinks it's great and just because the script consultant you hired is great. And I, I don't do it anymore. I used to do script consulting, but I say, don't listen to those people because they often, they're running a business and um, a business wants happy repeat customers. So they often tell you what you want to hear. And even if you find a script consultant who has incredible integrity, which is rare, but they exist, 
they're not in the business of breaking writers into the business. And, and I wouldn't listen to their advice, per se. I know people who are like, I, the script consultant said this, this, and this. I went out to the marketplace, look at the coverage. It stunk. It happens all the time. I say, hire actual readers under the table in TV or feature, wherever you are, and get the actual coverage report that they would get. And if all three coverage reports come back, recommend, recommend highest marks, then you're ready to go out, then, then yeah, get on the highest mountain, pound your chest, and get everybody to read your script. If that's not the case, stay off the radar. You don't want people reading your material, it's gonna hurt you. And figure out how you can train yourself to get better. So, sorry for a long answer, but no, I was very fixed mindset. And if that manager hadn't done that for me, I'd be taking classes a day, I wouldn't be teaching them.